Hi guys, Freddy Hero here, and welcome to today's latest Time for Two loadout video, where I'll be bringing you new loadouts to try out every once a week. Today's loadout is going to be another Time for Assault burn car pilot who is a disaster in the making, if not dealt with quickly, and his name is The Gunner. Now, The Gunner pilots look like a standard grapple pilot, with a Spitfire as his main, and nothing more. But looks are deceiving, as not only is he a powerful pilot that can destroy both Titans and pilots within a few seconds, he's capable of wiping an entire deck of most players' cards out if placed strategically and protected properly. He's a force to be reckoned with and not on the take lightly. His downside is his health and ramp up speed for increasing damage on his weapon. He needs constant protection as he has low health, plus for him to take out titan and large health pilots, he needs to ramp up and stay consistent on target for the damage to build up over time, something that half the time doesn't always pay off. So here's my latest attempt on creating a pilot in Time for 2. His loadout goes as the following. Class will be the grapple, as shown by the image used for the burn card. It would allow us to climb higher areas much more easily and allow us to grapple out of danger when needed, or pulling in pilots just for an extra bit of kills. Your primary will be the Spitfire, as this is what the gunner pilot uses in game. The Spitfire for Time for 2 doesn't have the ramp up ability for obvious reasons, and the only weapon that does have the ramp up ability is a devotion, but it doesn't increase damage, just increase the initial accuracy of the weapon. So to make this weapon feel like it does damage the longer you fire it, I decided to use the amped weapon for my boost. Although it doesn't last long on the Spitfire, the damage it will create will produce enough for you to take on generally everyone and everything in the battlefield. Your secondary will be the Mozambique for close quarter takedowns and stopping some players from advancing when you're laying down support fire. Like always, you can always change to something that feels a bit more flexible or a bit more suitable for your playstyle, like the P2A16 or the RB45. Both of those are great weapons for close and medium range fights. Your anti-titan weaponry will be the Thunderbolt, a great weapon for building up titan and boost meter each time you fire it over a large group of enemies or a singular enemy. It's also great for supporting your teammates when needed. Your ordnance will be the Satchel Charges for that extra bit of damage against titans and adds in game. This may not work for you, but I found that honestly, these I find that this ordnance is really great when trying to clear out a large group of grunts that might be in the way or a large group of grunts that just hap are so happily just pass over to you I find that if you just throw these in the small area like that and lay as a booby trap usually ads will try to swarm coming up to you you can usually set these off 9 times out of 10 it will take out the grunts and sometimes on small occasions you may be able to take out pilots or even some titans by doing a bit of damage to them only sometimes your boost is amp weapon as previously mentioned, this will act as the rammed up feature for the Spitfire and will come in handy for all encounters, whether you're clearing out a bunch of camping players or take on a newly dropped Titan. Your Titan now will be Ronin with the Thunderstorm Titan Kit, so you can have two arc waves for clearing up adds on the field or stunning Titans and doing constant damage against them. And finally, your two pilot kits will be the Ordnance Expert and Titan Killer. Both of these two here synergize perfectly for building and destroying Titans you go up against. Now playing the loadout, I decided to play more of a aggressive role than some of my past loadouts I've had. You will still be supporting your teammates of course, but as a gunner is meant to be a havoc on the battlefield, I decided to allow him to be more aggressive in terms of pushing the enemy back and clearing up grunts on the field to net a steady but high kill count. Basically you want to play this loadout for kill streaks and be an MVP of the game. And also most wanted to play it in the game since if you lead the charge then all players will rely on you for support or the enemy team will try and kill you as quickly as possible to get you out of the way with. I found that allowing your teammates to engage first always helps with loadout, as you can pick off players that your teammates don't finish off, since the Spitfire has an all round good stats on it. I tend to do this for all matches while picking off any grunts I see wander off. If this plays out for me, I can usually stay in one location, and pick off any players from good distances, while my teammates casually and slowly move up. If not though, I'll try and reposition myself and find an area that works in favour for netting X amount kills and support my teammates. At this point, I should get my boost and titan readied, if I gain enough kills. For my boost, I recommend you only activate it when you know you're, you're not in danger and you have enough support plus cover to kill and suppress an area with enough bullets that your teammates can run through and attack the enemy, then afterwards you can then follow and push up with your team if so needed. If this isn't you though, you can activate it straight away and get super aggressive with your pushes. Rather than wait for your teammates to cover you, you can look for opportunities to attack the enemy while they're not paying attention, such as sneaking around the enemy spawn and laying waste to them, or making good use of your ordnance expert perk 
and throwing a load of satchel charges everywhere for maximum destruction or use as traps. They're great for taking on reapers that tend to walk around the corner or tend to take control of an area. So I usually tend to throw down a few satchel charges here and there. And then usually I'll bait in, say a few, uh, say I bait in a few grunts or a few reapers. They come chase me and hopefully if things play out well, I will damage the reaper to the point of he has about half health but I can still finish him off and the grunts and all that would be finished off. Bonus points if you manage to get a pilot trapped in this as well. I also tend to drop my titan down only if my boost has been used and I'm on a good kill streak. but also if I know my team is in the lead and the enemy can't pick up the pay. Dropping my ronin now will allow me to focus on grunts and any pilots that try to get near me and damage me. With my thunderstorm perk allowing me to stun anyone that tried to get near me or run away I can control the field to my liking with my teammates focusing on the pilots and me clearing up after them or generally just clearing up by killing grunts and such. One thing though, you just gotta remember that Ronin needs constant support as he's a hit and run titan meaning he can't take too much damage since he's a strider and strider titans are very fast but they can't take a lot of damage compared to the atlas titans or the ogre titans. So if you're someone that already knows how to use striders, you're perfectly fine. If you're someone that doesn't know how to use striders, look up some guides or watch my gameplay and just be very cautious and wait for opportunities before you go ahead and attack. Everything within this loadout will help you with conquering the battlefield with quick, hard hitting and devastating attacks if you pay attention to your surroundings and use the right opportunity to get aggressive. Your aim is to support friendlies and be aggressive. You need the enemy team to focus on killing you as much as possible so they lose their objective and allow your teammates to come in and take over and take over from where you left off. Play your cards right and you could wipe the team in no time. But mess up and getting kill streaks and supporting your team can get a whole lot harder. So why not? Come on down, have a go at this loadout, and give me some feedback on it. Do you enjoy the constant support and aggressive play? Or are you more of a laid back supporter, someone that likes to help push up with the team rather than going solo? Let me hear in the comment sections. So thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't then by all means leave a dislike, I'll understand, I'll look back over the video to see where I've gone wrong and where I can improve on in the near future. So once again guys thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.